morning, welcome back <coughs> to another video. Uh, today I was just going to get the little McCormack and start cleaning out a couple of these sheds. Even even if I got one of them done, because I want to bring that cow home from the slats that's close on calving. Um, even if I got one of them done, because I need to fill that tractor with diesel and bring it back up to the slats. But I see this morning that we have a problem. So, um, I don't know whether to ring the puncher guy or else just see can I, will I pump it and see how long would it last. But I'm getting out with the feckin' rain, it's absolutely, the feckin' rain is just unbelievable. I'm not going to keep going on about it, it's just unbelievable. And then um, I have a trailer there that uh, I usually keep my meal in as well and it's been outside. <coughs> so I need to get meal for my yo's. So I need to actually clean it out. But I'd say the floor and the walls, if it's going to be too wet, it's, it's never going to dry now. So uh, it, to put meal in it, it wouldn't be dry enough. So I have a, I have a tarp there. Um, it's it's actually over our um, lawnmower. I might have to put that in along the sides and on the floor because it's just it's never going to dry. I should have had it feckin' done. I should have had it done. But anyway, just can't get around to everything. So. Um, probably get I need to clean it out anyway today and just need to ring the guy see can we get me at the end of the week but I want to try and get the O's in the twins and triplets if I can get them feckin dry I can't get them dry or anything so to get them in and even have a look at sort them uh, my dad's scanning next week so I'm going to scan my empty ones again there was 22 so hopefully we'll get a few more out of that to keep and any hoggets that was empty I'll be keeping them anyway giving them a second chance for next year <coughs> So that's what we're getting at today. I might have to ring the puncher repair man to come to that. I thought I would have got it's actually flatter than I thought. I thought I would have got it up to the house uh, or somewhere to pump it. Um but I don't think I'll be able to drive on it. So I might just have to ring him and see when can he come and sort it out. Because I need I need to get that tractor back up to the slats as well to clean that shed out. I need to ring about the peat today and see when it's coming, probably be Friday. Just that's the that's the shite and uh, the stuff that was left in the trailer. Uh, the excess meal it hadn't been cleaned out in ages and ages, and it was built up in the corners of it and everything. Uh, I just left it in the yard, tipped up, hoping that the rain would wash it out, but it didn't. So oh, you probably can't, you can't see it's too dark. <clears throat> but I actually brought it up to the house and I power washed it out, just to be totally clean. So we'll see can will it dry out. Probably won't dry out enough as I was staying, say, <coughs> stating earlier in the video. I'll probably stick that on uh, in on the floor and up the sides just just so it'll stop any moisture. Um, so that's that. I may just leave it on the tipped up on the tractor there for a while. Uh, tried to pump the wheel on the McCormack, but it uh, seems to be a different valve on it or something that wouldn't, wouldn't pump any air into it. So there's a guy coming to, now, it was supposed to be coming today to sort it out um so i've lost the day now i was supposed to clean out these sheds and i was hoping to get the mccormick back up to the slats this evening to clean that out tomorrow but i'm a day behind now straight away so i was talking to the guy about the peat um and if i can get the other shed cleaned out he thinks yeah that it'll probably come friday so but i need to be able to get the other shed cleaned out i just have the cows locked on the slats for now anyway as i say last night i, I done the I was doing the vaccination, which would have been in the last video. Um, I just have them locked on the slats just until I can get things sorted out. There's an awful lot of dung up there.
just going to stick on the bucket now and do the last bit of tidying up. Uh, good bit still in this, but I need to take out those two uh, posts. Um, I'll just do the last bit with the bucket because even in the back shed there, the big shed, there's a bit of fork in here again, the wall or whatever, because those chocks are there just in the way. But anyway, uh, we, we scrape it out now. Hello, it's just afternoon now. Uh, we didn't get the other sheds finished. Uh, the little McCormick has broke down again. The same thing has happened, so. Um, I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but it just, we went up for lunch, myself and Senan, and uh, it was working, working perfect this morning. And we just stopped at the house and got into it after lunch and it wouldn't move. So, so we're just up here at the slats now, where um, brought up this tractor. The cattle need silage. I need to move some bales before I start cleaning out this shed. I'm just going to draw it up with the trailer up around, uh, clean out this and get it ready for the peat. I think the peat is coming on Friday. I don't know whether I stated that earlier in the video. I don't know. I do forget what I do be saying. Um, so yeah, we just want we want to tidy up some of this mess along here as well. Give them all silage and then get this cleaned out. That's what I say. I had to bring up my own fork and bucket for this tractor. Uh, I brought them up in the trailer and then just tipped them out. Um, it would have been handy now because I have to take this on and off now every time. It would have been handy if I hadn't had the other tractor. Um, I wouldn't have had to unhitch every time, you know. So anyway, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, we're not going to get it all cleaned out this evening anyway. Like it's it's pushing for four o'clock now today. But of all day tomorrow. But I wanted to try get this finished out uh, by lunchtime tomorrow, and then if tomorrow was dry, get the try and get the O's in. That's that's sort of the plan. Uh, but if I get this cleaned out today, that it might finish off this video. I don't know. We'll just have to see how things go. Uh, Senan's with me as well, so we'll have to see how well we get on because he might want to go home. He might be hungry. We forgot to bring a bit of food with us. If we had brought a bit of food with us, we could have stayed late. Isn't that right, Sen? Yeah. And and we're we're all a bit sick, so Sen is actually looking a bit white. Are you all right? Mm-hmm. Bit white.
it's just taking a bit out at first to get a bit away from these posts <coughs> and I need to get another bit away from that so I'm gonna have to take all that down and have to take those gates down and then these ones can just open back uh, I'll go in through that door and up this side then um, it's just handier uh, if I had had the smaller tractor it'd been much easier to maneuver in or in the round but we don't have it so therefore we're gonna have to take these down now uh, I think don't think is some of these gates are fairly heavy Then just on the way home there we're bringing a load of dung home with us uh, so just uh, when the other tractor broke down as I say I had to take the trailer off and I was loading it but we went to hook it back up and the, to the hitch had sunk into the ground so then I tried to lift it up with the with the fork on the tractor and then I broke the feckin connection for the feckin lights on the trailer as well so just, uh, things haven't been going well. So anyway, we're gonna wrap up this video now. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed watching. And uh, what, do ha what do I have to do, Senan? Like and subscribe. And we will definitely see you at the next one.